Hello everyone, welcome to day two of Soul Discovery. This is a five day challenge. My name is Sarah, if you're new to this group, founder, creator of Autoimmune Tribe, and we are gonna dive right into talking about self-love. So today you will need paper, pen, your Oracle card deck. Again, you can choose any deck. This will work with any deck. I just suggest the Earth Magic deck. And then I also encourage you, this is just a little bonus, a little extra credit if you want it, to surround yourself with some things that make you feel joyful, that bring a smile to your face. So I, this can be crystals, it can be little figurines, objects, it can be smells that make you feel good, it can be a picture of people you love. There's a lot of options here on who you want or what you want to bring to your space, but anything that makes you feel happy. And I love, so this past um, December, I was in Florida with my family. We went to this little flea market type area, lots of like little vendors. I guess it wasn't really like a flea market. It was more just like a little, like a farmer's market, but more like artisan stuff. And I got this freaking adorable little guy. How cute is he? And every time he sits at my desk and he sits on this piece of petrified wood, so he just sits there and he he watches me while I work. And I think he's just, he reminds me of Groot. Have you, do you guys know Groot? <laughs> um, I am Groot. Does anyone get that reference? My boyfriend loves Marvel, Marvel movies and so we've like seen them all. Um, he puts a smile on my face. It just makes me happy every time I little, see my little guy over here. So I'm going to have him and my petrified wood, uh, which is also amazing um, crystal or stone to use in healing. I'm going to put them by me today. So hi, Sam. I know, isn't he adorable? So anything that makes you feel joyful, that brings a smile to your face. And it, I also highly recommend um, if you do have crystals to, to grab some of the pink crystals. Pink crystals are going to be that heart chakra, that love crystal, especially self-love. And that's what we're talking about today, self-love. So question to all of you listening. First of all, let me know if you're here live or you're here for the replay. Did you listen to day one yet? It's not a prerequisite. You could dive right into day, day two, but to go back and listen to day one, definitely. We talked a lot about finding that underlying anger. My question for you today is, do you fixate on all the things going wrong? Do you fixate on the parts of your life that feel um, like they're a sense of lack, right? Not enough. That's what lack is, right? Not enough. Um, always wanting more, but feeling like you can't have it. So do you feel like you fixate on some of those things that are going wrong versus the things that are going right? And I don't mean that that, that means you make, me, makes you a pessimistic person because I think naturally our mind can, can wander there. So give yourself a break if you do do that. But I think so many of us are hard on ourselves because when we focus on that place of lack, it's also us trying to get better, right? It's like, well, I'm not where I want to be and I, I want to be here, but I'm already here. Let's talk about money for a second, right? So this could be translated into an example. Well, my bank account's here, but I want it to be here. So this is lack, right? This is the, 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 the space between where I want to be and where I am. But when we only focus on that space and not say, hey, how far are we from here to here and what do we already have? Then our mind is in this lack place, this I'm not enough, I don't have enough, my bank account doesn't have enough. And we're always trying to be the best, right? We're always trying to work harder. We're trying to be smarter. We're trying to be the most beautiful and have the most beautiful Instagram, all of these things, right? Uh, but we focus on all those things that we are not yet, that we desire to be, then it's just this feeling, this energetic feeling of lack in our body. So we're going to move away from that today, and we are going to focus on, on that space below, which maybe is a lot bigger than where you want to be, right? Maybe you only have a little bit to go, but all of this that you have already created, that you already are inside of your heart and inside of your soul. So we're going to shift from lack, maybe some self-loathing, and I want you guys to be really honest because this is a real fucking thing, right? Some of us have that feeling, that sensation in our body, in our bones of self-loathing. I know I felt it before. I feel it a lot less than I used to because I work and I do the spiritual practice. But it doesn't have to be super hard either. So we're going to just tap into that thing. 
t today. So from self-loathing and lack to self-love. And remembering how freaking beautiful you are, lady listening. How freaking beautiful you are inside and outside. So we're going to start by grabbing our card deck. And I want you to actually, we're not going to shuffle today. We're actually just going to look through the cards. And I want you to pick the one that you find to be the most beautiful, the prettiest card in the deck, the one that you are called to today. So let's just take a minute to do that. Mm, that's a maybe. That's a maybe for me. <laughs> I'm going to set some of my, ooh, I love that one too. Some of my maybes off to the side so I can narrow it down here. Try to go through pretty quickly. So you're just flipping through your cards. Which one is just a really beautiful card? It can be for any reason. It can be that the artwork, artwork is really beautiful. It can be that for some reason you're just connected to it today. It can be that the word is a word that you see as beauty, depending on what kind of card deck you have, right? And then let us know, what is the card that you picked? I don't think you can snap a picture while you're listening to a live stream on your phone, <laughs> but afterwards take a picture of the card you found to be the most beautiful and post it in this thread. Okay, so I think I found the one that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna stop shuffling here or going through all of them. And I'm picking Gaia. Gaia as in Mother Earth, and she is nurturing. So I think I'm called to this card for all of its um, kind of rainbow of colors, and also its lightness. Like it's there's a lot of wispy kind of um, lines and coloring in this versus a card that might be more um, in like a more of a masculine energy and more like structure. So that's not a great example, but this has more hard lines, right? Versus just like really flowy and wispy. I'm really attracted to that. Okay. Same deck as you used yesterday. Yes, it is. It's the Earth Magic deck again. So I'm choosing Gaia. And you're just going to place whatever you card, whatever card you find to be the most beautiful in front of you. And you can set it off to the side for a second because we're going to grab our paper and pen. But this card... This card represents you. It represents the beauty inside you and how innately beautiful, gorgeous, unbelievable you are at the core, again, inside and out. And then I like to then take whatever you had around you. So I've got my little guy here. Can you see him? He's not in the picture yet. He's right here. <laughs> He's right there. So I've got my card and my, my little Groot <laughs> next to me. And then I'm going to grab my paper and pen. And I want you guys to write a thank you note to yourself. What does this look like? Well, what are you grateful for within your soul, within your being? What have you accomplished? Big when I say accomplish, I think a lot of our minds go to what awards have you won? No. I mean, yes, that's freaking amazing. Congratulations on whatever awards you've won. But that's not the only way that you accomplish something. And we don't always get acknowledged for every accomplishment we have. So big or small, for example, maybe your accomplishment today is that you took a shower and I brushed my hair and I curled it and damn, that felt good. And that was a big accomplishment for me today, right? Your accomplishment might be, I made it through the day. It's 4, 10 p.m. mountain time and I'm still kicking and I haven't burnt out yet. That is an accomplishment. So I want you to write down again, a thank you note to yourself. You can start it with thank you, comma, Sarah, or you, if you don't wanna use like, write down your name because that feels weird for some reason, just say, Thank you. Thank you, me. <laughs> Thank you. And then to start writing, what are you thankful for? Thank you for, for taking that salt, ba salt bath last night. Really needed that. Thank you for not giving up today. You made it through this day, almost, right? <laughs> you rock, you're killing it, girl, right? 
you again what are you what are you grateful for what have you accomplished what are you really good at you are so thoughtful so you're gonna keep writing yourself this thank you note and I want you to just include a lot of compliments big or small step outside of your comfort zone to do this you have beautiful eyes you are strong you are an amazing in my case dog mom right you're an amazing mother you rocked those unicorn slippers yesterday so my point in giving you these examples is just to make you realize that it's not all awards and acknowledgement it's what can you acknowledge within yourself what have you accomplished big or small what are you grateful for about yourself um what can what compliments can you give yourself and write yourself that little thank you letter okay so if you're listening to the recording and you need more time, you're allowed to pause and then come back. If you're live, we're gonna keep moving forward. So I'm gonna bring all of these things in front of me. I have my thank you note. I have my Oracle card, nurture, nurturing Gaia. And you can actually read into that a little bit deeper too. It's like, why did you pick that card today? Maybe there's a deeper reason, reason too. Now I'm gonna bring my little guy. He doesn't actually have a name. I, I think I'm just gonna call him Groot because he looks so much like Groot <laughs> in front of me. So I'm surrounded by gratitude and beauty and joy. And then we're gonna close our eyes and we are going to meditate. So find a comfortable seat, sit tall through your spine. I do recommend if you can, you can sit on the floor on the ground to really just get grounded, connected to earth. And my chair wants to turn this way. As you close your eyes, I want you to turn your internal gaze up and in towards your third eye center. Notice your breath, breathe in, breathe out. Maybe this is the first mindful breath you've taken today. Enjoy, enjoy this moment of just breathing. Nothing to do nowhere to be but here present with yourself your body your mind your spirit now I just want you to bring that imagery of the card that you pulled back into the focus of your mind the third eye center and consider what what are all the things in that card that you considered to be beautiful? What attracted you to that card today? Was it the colors, the shapes, the energy, the words, the feeling that it gave you? And what we saw in that card today is a reflection of ourselves. How you just answered that question is a reflection of you. All of the characteristics and traits that you considered beautiful in that card, this physical object in front of us, all of those things also live with inside you. They're there. They've always been there. And today's a reminder that they're still there. All of those colors that I saw in my card and those wispy, delicate lines, that's all part of me. I'm this colorful human being that wants to express herself. And those wispy lines are my feminine energy flowing, breathing, creating, being colorful. 
And consider how this translates to your card and your life and the beauty that's inside of you. Now I just want you to scan your body. And notice if there's any places that you avoid or that are holding on to this emotion of lack or self-loathing? What parts of your body have you maybe disowned? And it may be on a physical level or it may be because they're holding on to some past experience or emotion that doesn't make you feel beautiful or loved. And then I want you to bring your hands to that part of your body that's holding on to any sort of lack, lack of self-love, lack of acceptance, maybe an experience that hasn't been fully processed in your life. Just bring your hands there. It can be anywhere on your body. And I want you to feel the physical connection of your hands to the skin. So if you can, make sure that you're actually connected to the skin. And I want you to remind yourself right now that even though that part of your body has the sensation of lack, it is still part of you. And it is not against you. My hands are on my heart today. And I can feel my heart beat against my hands. I can feel the connection of the skin of my palm to the skin of my chest. And I remember that this is the only physical body that I'm given in this lifetime. And that I want to respect it and I want to love it. And I want it to feel whole and complete and abundant instead of this place of lack. And through your hands, feel the heat of your hands warming up that part of your body sending it energetically these little messages of love maybe forgiveness acceptance telling it that it's okay and it's safe to release this feeling of lack or hate to let that go and instead fill your this part of your body up with this warmth like those warm fuzzy feelings when you're in love those butterflies in your stomach Fill this part of your body up with deep, deep, unconditional love. And from wherever your hands are, just bring your hands back to heart center, palms press in front of your chest, and really connect your thumbs to your chest cavity. Breathe out through your mouth, letting go of any more stale thoughts. Breathe in deep acceptance for the self. Exhale, breathe out. One more breath on your own, breathe in. Exhale. You can lower your hands down and just start to blink open your eyes and bring awareness back to your surroundings. I love meditating with all of you. So I want you to put into the comment box what sensations came up and if there were any shifts in your body. Maybe you surprised yourself with where your hands came today that were experiencing this lack. Maybe you surprised yourself with what card you pulled and the beauty in it that you described, you realized was inside of you. So you can take this thank you letter that you wrote and you can keep it for as long as you'd like or what I like to do with these objects and card is actually leave them out for about 24 hours kind of like a little bit of a grid or a sacred space or a sanctuary that I can come to and hold this energy of the meditation that we just shared together so it really gets imprinted into your energy body on more of this quantum or cellular level 
If you have any questions about this day, I'd be happy to answer them. Pop them in the comments below. I'll be back to answer any questions if you're listening to the recording, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day three. Love you.